Hello, welcome. So in today's video, we are building our own Next.js boilerplate or Next.js starter kit. So most of the times when you have a new client, you always do the same thing, uh, design the same components, uh, do the same components in most of the projects. You design the hero section, the header section, the footer, and so many other sections that always be in other projects. So in today's video, we are taking all the concepts we have been learning so far from different videos and we are combining them into this one to build one of the best starter kits uh, on the internet for Next.js. And here is the finished product. So if you look at the hero section, it's looking absolutely amazing, right? Uh, it has all these uh, nice stuff. It has this button which has this beam uh, running. If you scroll down, we have the comparison section, which is looking nice. Then we have the stack, stacked cards, which are changing. And then we have this image with a beam running over it. Then we have this features section. So this is like a, a feature section. It has like this. Uh, when you click on the active one, you have like an image here. And when you click on this, you even have a video okay so uh we have also the video which you can link talking about the SaaS product you are you have built and then we have the pricing section looking amazing so clean a uh, clean design really i love it and then uh, we have this faqs uh amazing and then we have here this uh cta section which is also looking so amazing and of course the footer. So this is the landing page done so well, so clean, and it is really nice. So we built this, of course, together from scratch. And then uh, if you just go, you see here there is um, go to dashboard. So if I click to go to dashboard, you see I'm taken to the uh, authentication. So we have uh, not only just designed the authentication, but we have these beautiful uh, form inputs ranging from radio input select input all different types of form inputs we have reusable components that we have put in this data kit now on the authentication we have both this uh this uh normal one at uh, the login with credentials and we have also login with google plus uh login uh or sign up with github so this is so 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 cool uh plus of course the registration uh is the same thing so we could just like register a new user here very fast and let's change the password of this user uh let's also just look at the email okay i'm just going to give this login at 1026 let me copy the email Control c go ahead and sign up very cool very cool uh command collected login 2026 and sign in boom so you sign in very nicely this is so nice if you go back here on this you see that you have this logged in user let's log out and let's go back to the login and this time let's use a google account now for the google account it's the same the same thing like if you sign up on the login is the same thing let's try using this uh google so i'm just going to use one of these i'm just going to use colin and then just scroll down here continue okay and this is loading and you can see i've been redirected to the dashboard if i go back to this you can see i have colin uh here logged in so this is so cool now we can't even try google actually uh, you can just go ahead and log out, uh, log out this person here and let's try the last one which is actually google i don't know if you saw that loader i'm just going to talk about it in a second but if i just use uh here github uh just going to say github and you see it also just redirects here because I already just listed it and you can see now I'm logged in using GitHub. So 
we have all of them working now i can just go to the dashboard and i show you some cool things so we have first of all added in data table so let me just show you the data table so if you click here of course we have the nice dashboard as you can see it here we added in a data table that you can replicate in all other models it is reusable uh that data table is reusable over over all the modules you can use it uh, reuse it the way you want okay i'm just going to click on this uh here i'm just like maybe open it in the new tab okay so you can see here by the way are you seeing this loader i'm just going to talk about it in a second but you can see here we have this uh, so this is a data table with all these filters, the pagination, uh, you can have range filters, date filters, all these ones are inside this amazing uh, stuff. You have even the search, you can just say electronics and the search is working. Okay, so we have also the form, as I've said, we added all the form inputs in this data kit okay it is fully packed um as i've said it has all the forms all the form inputs you want including text area uh even query editor plus even the image uh the image input you can see all these ones are working so so nicely okay i can just uh, get here anything here to up uh, upload let me just click on this image like so and I just say here test category and then just say here uh, test description just like this i'm just going to go ahead and save this and look at this so clean so cool and you know man this is just really good uh so if uh we have added this okay now i'm just of course we have other pages like if you went to uh to products and this page does not exist uh let's just look for the one which doesn't exist i think okay products is there i just want to get like orders okay so we have also a four or four page of course and the what else do we have so we have also the animations so you saw when we just click here we have this loader animation this one this animation we're just using loti animations okay we are using loti files uh, these are like very cool animations that are lightweight more than even svgs are the one we are using for the animations as you can see it has all these nice component within so thank you if you want to see how we are building this from scratch let's jump in and get started